here we are. Can you believe it? Week nine. Just finished midterm. Okay, this is day twenty-three for the course. And day twenty-two was midterm and day twenty-one was the SBA. Ate up most of last week. All right, so Monday, and this is BCA 101, a little bit about technology background, got started on communications, discussed this, assignment four. I emphasized um, making sure they're watching the videos prior to filling out the outline. We also talked about we also talked about learning very briefly if if you don't change anything you're currently doing you'll probably get the same grade at the end of the course as you got at midterm if you adjust some things and do a few more things you probably get a better grade if you start to slack off you get a lower grade that talk to me ASAP Okay, we logged in to a different volume on the computers. Um, actually, uh, it's, it's a networking side of the computer, which allows us to do more things. So we talked about the whole idea of the operating system. We can load different operating systems from storage in the memory. Okay, and then you load your apps in the memory, if you can see that. And you know the apps can come from your storage, they could come from the internet, or could come from a DVD or whatever. Okay, we have some way we interface and react to our tech device. And so what we did in class is we loaded um, a different version of Windows 10 that allows us to do more things to the computer. Like... Um, look at and change IP addresses if we want to. And there's other things we can view that we uh, aren't allowed to on the other side. We log directly into the computer with that password I mentioned above rather than logging into a server somewhere on the system. Okay. So, <clears throat> we talked about our communications to the switch, Ethernet, 802.3, and we talked about communications to a access point, Wi-Fi, 802.11. Those are protocols. We're going to mention protocols every day, okay, and we'll talk about different ones that do different things that allow us to communicate to other computers. Here's the IP address for web server 2 that's connected to the switch and we get to that through some type of routing device okay so if I was to mark this this is an intermediate device we have an intermediate device intermediate device intermediate device allows us to get into the internet okay then eventually end devices are on the other end if you're looking at something in the cloud, you know, like going to Google or whatever. Talk more about that later on. Okay, so this is a switch. This is a router up here. It's a multi-layered switch to be more technical. This is actually a router. And network address translation happens there. We have a private inside addresses get converted to a public address on the outside. Talk more about that on Wednesday. Okay, here's an intermediate device, an access point. Got one in the back of the room, up on the ceiling. All right, so then when we logged in here to this um, different operating system, and we loaded from storage, okay, we had to look and see if the logical address was set for DHCP or static. If it was set for DHCP, 
it, it was okay. If it was set for static, we had to change it to DHCP. And then we looked at the physical addresses. We were able to look at those using command prompt. Next uh, slide. We would type IP config all at the command prompt. You open up command prompt on the PC, and you can do that. S similar things on um, phones and so forth. It's a little different, though, there. And we take a look at, and we were able to look at the physical address. Every device has a physical address unique to that device. Okay? Out on the Internet, we have another protocol. TCP IP. I believe created somewhere in the early 70s, and it allows us to communicate through the Internet way more efficiently than this one. All right, my last slide. So what we did in class, we took PuTTY and we logged in. In class, we used this address, okay, in the classroom. And so we were able to use what's called the private address. If you were at home, you could log into the server using this public address. SSH port 22. You can download PuTTY. Make sure if you download PuTTY at home, get it from... Oh, here, let me do this. Make sure it's PuTTY.org. We downloaded PuTTY putty early in the class. Okay. Long listing. After we got logged in, we typed last. It showed everybody logged in. We also typed um, who to see who was on the computers. Now, if you have a Macintosh computer, you can, on there, you can go to Terminal and this would get you logged in. So for example, this would work if I want to log in to the server from a Macintosh. It would really help right now if students would work on their outlines instead of waiting let me undo that instead of waiting until the end of the unit it would really help if they were on their outlines. Watch the video, insert the information. Okay? Alright, so that's it for Monday.